Yo, what's up guys? I'm back again with another video. This time guys, it's gonna be a comparison video. And it's gonna be on Turtle Wax Ice Paste Wax versus Meguiar's High Tech Yellow Paste Wax. And guys, each one of them got their own microfiber cloth. Got my racing tape down the middle. I uh, got my water bottle. Got my car on hand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just wanted to come try this, man. Wonder which was better. I think the turtle wax beat out the collar night. And, uh, you know, it wasn't much, much better, but the price is much better. So, a lot of times, that's all it takes to really throw it over the top, guys. The price of the wax. And we're going up against the high tech yellow wax. Okay, it's already been applied to the car, as you can see, on both sides. So, like I said, my racing stripe down the middle right there. And um, each one, each wax got their own microfiber cloth. And uh, that's how we're going to do it for the day, man. And that's how you want it. You know what I'm saying? So, that being said... We're going to jump right into it, man. This has been out here maybe four or five minutes. As you can see, it's ready to take off. So we're going to start with the High Tech Yellow Paste Wax by Meguiar's. Here we go. I like to apply my waxes before the video starts so to give enough time to cure out. Okay. Once it cure out good, bond good, you can take it off, flip your rag here. Keep on rolling with it. Okay, a little small trunk. Doesn't take much to get it off here. That's why I like to do my videos on this. Wipe it down with alcohol. And uh, on she wrote. Alright. That is all. Give it a nice shine. And um, let's jump over here to the turtle wax ice side. Okay. Here we go. Let's take this off, guys. Screw it out as you can see here. Screw it out enough to take off. Here we go. Only thing about this ice, guys, if you buy turtle wax ice, be prepared to take this stuff off with some elbow grease, man. Because uh, that's the only downside to turtle wax ice, man. It, it's very hard coming off. You know, you can take some strength getting this stuff off. Matter of fact, I'm going to try it with a rotary buffer and see how it works because, um, actually, that's how hard it is coming off. Flip your rag over, guys. Um, if you try it with a rotary buffer, it's that hard coming off. All right. Here we go. That's all all. All right. Okay, now let's compare the two shins. This here got a nice shine. Let's turn the wax to ice side. Now let's move to the high tech yellow wax. Mmm. Comparing the shine, guys. Comparing the shine. I would say high tech yellow wax. Got a little bit more gloss to it from what I'm seeing here. See that? Compared to that. Yeah, it does. Right here, you can see that. It's clearer there versus that. It's dull over there in that area. Come back here. It gets clear. Now, if it's paint defaults, I still say the gloss is more on McGuire's high tech yellow wax side here, as you can see. But they both are great waxes. Consider the price. High tech yellow wax run you about 15. Turtle wax ice run you about 13. So it's a few dollars cheaper. Okay. Now, guys, what we're going to do, we're 
Now what we're going to do, we're going to get into the water testing. Okay. All right, guys, see what's one more hydrophobic. Okay. We're going to see what's one more hydrophobic. Okay, there we go. Doesn't take a lot of water to see this test. Okay. That's the Begrimes High Tech Yellow Wax side. Now we're going to come here to Turtle Wax Ice. Like I told you guys, it doesn't take a whole lot of water to see which one be the best. Just a little something, so. Alright, here we go. That's all the water you need right there. Here we go. This a high tech yellow wax side. Very hydrophobic. Okay. Come over here to the wax ice side across the line. I will say by, by looking at this. Let's cross the line to the wax ice right here, guys. Let's cross the line. I will say the bees, see how they're drooping a little right there? They're beating good, though. Can't take nothing away from it. This is McGuire's high tech yellow wax. Beating very good. Can't take nothing away from it. But, let's jump the line one more time to Turtle Wax Ice side here. Look how it's beating. No droops in the beads. Tight beating. The balls are very round, as you can see. See that uh, tightness of the beading? And the winner here, I got to call it the way it is, guys. Fair square, you see the droops here on the McGuire High Tech Yellow Wax side. See it's trying to get long like See, it's getting long. It's getting long. Like it's trying to sheet a little bit, see? Not holding tightness. So the winner here is Turtle Wax. Ice Premium, man. See how I hold the bees hold tight and steady? See that? Y'all see that? It's fair and square. The bees holding very tight and steady. Where this is trying to droop away like high tech yellow wax. See that? It's trying to droop away on this side. So, yep. Guys, fair and square, you see it. Anybody got anything different to say? It's the, the winner is Turtle Wax Ice Premium. Uh, they just had to call it the way it is, man. And um, that's the way it is. So, uh, fair and square, you guys see it. And to center that, Turtle Wax Ice is a little bit cheaper. Also, you're talking about 13 bucks versus 15 and 16 bucks with the McGuire's High Tech Yellow Wax. Both of them do a good job at beating. The High Tech Yellow Wax seemed like it won for shining. But the overall, what's, what's most important, how hydrophobic it is and the protection that it allows. And plus, that Turtle Wax Ice is a little cheaper than the McGuire's High Tech Yellow Wax. You're talking 12 versus 15 and 16, 13. You, you'll save three or three or four dollars by getting turtle wax ice. But if you can, you can get both of these waxes. Both of them are great. They're good to have in your arsenal. I'm telling you guys. But today, the winner here is turtle wax ice paste wax. Not because it's a whole lot better, because it's done a better job at holding the beadness. It did a good job at shining. It's cheaper versus this over here is more expensive. It didn't beat as well, but it's shining a little bit better. So, hey, that's where it is, man. So, if you're looking for something very, very hydrophobic, guys, I said once again, if you can see, go with the turtle wax ice. You see how tightness of them bees there. Regardless of what people say, how a lot of people claim they don't like Turtle Wax products, I mean, you can knock their products all you want to. I'm telling you guys, the stuff beads 
amazing. You would love the beatings of this stuff, man. And um, this stuff is great to have. I'm telling you. Tetrax Ice is the winner, and it's very good. Very hydrophobic. Um, about one of the most hydrophobic waxes out there for the budget, for the price of it. And you could just grab this up right out of Walmart, guys. And uh, if you really want that maximum protection, I guess it's got that smart shield technology in this stuff right here, guys. And I'll scratch it to you if you want maximum protection for protecting your cars and your trucks, SUVs, and stuff like that. Guys, I'm telling you, man, either one of these is good, but Turner Wax Ice allow that maximum protection. The very tightness of the water beating, guys, and you can see that. Like, a, I mean, it's just very tightness of the beat, water beating. Check it out. Very tightness. But, you know, my grass, high tech yellow wax does a great job too, but it's not holding it together as good. And you see that. You see them running away like. See? High tech yellow wax. See? It's not holding it together good, man. It's turtle wax. See? Turtle wax holding it right there. <laughs> and that's what you want. You want something to hold it right there. Wait a minute. Back up. So, that's how you want to perform on your vehicle. And you see this, man. I mean, a lot of people can bash Turtle Wax products. But you see this. Look at that. You can bash their products all you want to, but I'm telling you. This is good stuff. Turtle Wax Ice. Pace Wax. It's one of the best budget waxes you can get, hands down, in the game right now. I'm telling you. You can knock it you want to. I can put it up against any. I'll buy the 3D or any of all this other stuff, chemical guys, and I'll put it up against that turtle wax ice. And I guarantee you a turtle wax will whoop some of them out just like that. I know it would. All right. So, guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Share my videos with your family and your friends. And guys, there you have it, man. It's the good stuff, I'm telling you. Go for it. Go for it. Tell the wax ice rule here, man. I'm telling you. Go pick it up at Walmart. 13 bucks. I'll see you guys on the next video, man. It's the good stuff. See ya. Tell the wax ice is the rule here. It's the winner.